they are dropping them from the subsidy rolls and they must reapply. And there is a third group in those who have to go what, through what's called redetermination. Three separate processes affecting three separate groups of beneficiaries. CMS, known as Medicare and Medicaid Services and Social Security are sending out notices as we speak in English and Spanish. And that is our message, as you heard, we're going to say it over and over again. This complicated brand new process will be sent out to the members of this community and other communities where English is not the first language or the preferred language. And they will not be able to read these letters. There's another even more serious problem coming along. The new biggest change is for the dual eligibles. Those are the Medicare and Medi-Cal beneficiaries. This was the group that was most harmed by the Part D program. These are the sickest the oldest and the poorest of our community. And what they did is they created uh, contracts for 10 plans, private plans, who accepted the dual eligibles into their program. We now know that when the contracts went out this year, many of these plans no longer exist. Some of these plans have premiums that are too high for the dual eligibles. As a result, these seniors, these elderly people, will be reassigned yet again to another plan that they did not pick for themselves. And when they're put into that plan, they may have new benefits, new rules, new restrictions, new formularies, and they may have uh, medications that they used to get that they will now pay cash for. Now, how are we finding out about these changes? Those, those changes are coming out in letters. They're coming out in letters from Medicare and the plans themselves. And yes, they're coming out in English and Spanish. This is the same problem we had last year that the messages, these letters are long and complicated. It's difficult to understand them if English is your first language. If you don't speak English and you don't read English and you cannot have access to that, then you're going to need help. And that's our message here today. There are a lot of changes and we expect more challenges when January 1 begins. We want to encourage you to get the word out that the lack of language capacity makes it so hard. This is an incredibly complicated program. And the people that are most vulnerable need all the help they can get. But when you add to that the lack of language capacity, it virtually makes this program impossible to understand. As a result, many of our seniors just stopped taking their medications. It was too hard to figure out. And many of our seniors could get their medication covered, but they can't understand Part D. And so they leave the pharmacies without medications. So we hope that this next year gets a little better. We're not sure. But the lack of language capacity is an overwhelming burden. Um, thank you. And next we will have Henry Kim, who will come up and give a personal testimony. Jason 현재 안에 신장은 약한 35% 작용하고 있다고 닥터는 이야기하고 있습니다. 그리고 주사역을 프로 크립트 하는 주사역을 지방받고 있습니다. 하지만 메디케어 파트 D가 시작한 이후로 보험회사에서 브로켓 주사약을 줄수 없다고 했습니다. 그 후로 세 번이나 보험회사를 변경해야 했고 모두 프로 크립트 주사약 혜택을 받지 못했습니다. 주사약을 받기 위해 이곳저곳 음, 알아보러 다녔지만 에, 어느 장벽에 부딪혀서 에, 알리고 있는 문의를 하고 싶지만 한국어 서비스가 제공되지 않아 몰랐기 때문에 주변 사람들에게 정보를 보존할 수밖에 없었습니다. 메디케어에서 프로크리트 주사약 혜택을 받지 못하기 때문에 현재 저 안에는 한 달에 두 번씩 병원에 가서 직접 주사약을 맡고 있습니다. 에, 이번에 또 메디케어 정책이 바뀐다는 소식이 있습니다. 하루하루를 긴장해서 지나고 있습니다. 아내가 주사약을 받을 수 있는 상황에서 정책이 바뀐다니 언제까지 병원에서 약을 받을 수 있을지 모르겠습니다. 
빨리 메디케어 파트 B의 정책이 안전되어 가지고 저와 제 아내의 같은 문제가 발생하지 않았으면 저의 소망입니다. 감사합니다. 자동으로 가입이 되어주신지 어, 그리고 저희 민족학교에서는 어, 그첫 번째 두달 동안에 3,000분 정도의 어, 한인 연장자분들을 도와드렸습니다. 그래서 그두달 동안은 저희 스태프분들이 모두, 모두 다, 다 어, 진행하고 있던 일을 다 업무를 다 그만두고 이제 그분들을 모두 다 도와드렸는데요. 어, 이번에는 이제 작년에는 노란색 편지로 왔던 그 정보가 이번에는 이제 파란색 편지로 아까 토니 발가스 그 변호사님께서 말씀하셨던 것처럼 파란색 편지로 나가게 됩니다. 근데 문제는 그 파란색 편지로 나간다고 해도 이 저희 그 영어가 불편하신 한인 연장자 분들께서는 어, 본인들이 어떤 플랜에 가입이 되어 계신지를 알수 있는 방법은 없습니다. 저희한테 저희 민족학교에서 오셔서 정보를 받으실 수, 편지를 들고 직접 오셔서 정보를 받으실 수 있으시거나 아니면 메디케어 계좌를 하셔야 되는데요. 어, 저희 같은 경우에도 도, 많이 열심히 도와드리려고 노력을 했지만 10명의 스태프진들이 이제 이 많은 한인타운에 그리고 또 여러 타운티에 계시는 연장자분들을 모두 다 도와드릴 수 없는 어, 얼마큼 저희가 도와드릴 수 있는지 저희도 확실치는 모르겠습니다. 어, 작년에는요, 어떤 일이 있었습니까? 어떤 일이 있었냐면요, 오렌지 카운티에 계시는 이제 몸이 불편하시는 연장자분께서 2시간 동안 버스를 타고 저희 민족학교에 오시고, 그리고 오랜 시간 동안 기다리셔서 그 편지 내용 하나를 알기 위해서 오랜 시간 동안 기다리셨고, 그리고 2시간을, 2시간을 다시 타고, 오렌지 카운티로 돌아가셨습니다. 그래서 총그 편지 한 장의 내용을 알기 위해서 총 다섯 시간 정도의 소비를 시간을 소비해 가시면서 저희한테 찾아오셨는데요. 어 저희가 드리고 싶은 말씀은 어 저희가 그 언어 권리를 이제 좀더더 더 노력을 해서 저희 커뮤니티 문제만이 아니라 아 저희 저희 그 인디비주 이 아니라 저희 모든 커뮤니티의 문제거든요. 이거는요. 그래서 모든 한인 분들께서 연장자 분들께서 혹시 어, 불편하심이 있으면 불편하심이 어떤 불편하심을 불편하신 점이 있는지 호소를 하시고 그리고 메디케어 원의 현질 메디케어에 연락을 하셔서 이제 어, 랭귀지 라인을 쓰시는 게 가장 중요한 것 같아요. 지금 현재 랭귀지 라인이 제대로 연결이 되지 않고 있습니다. 한국 사람을 물어보려면 우선 영어로 물어봐야 되고 한국 사람이 나올 때까지 30분, 20분, 30분 정도를 기다리셔야지만 한국 통역사가 나오시게 되고요. 그리고 또 통역하시는 분도 어, 얼마나 또 좋은 또 서비스를 프로바이드 하시는지 본인께서 이제 그거를 기억하셨다가 만약에 불편한 서비스가 있으셨으면 은 그런 거를 호소하는 방법도 하나의 저희 그 언어 권리에 참, 참여하는 그런 Uh, and that's all through um, collaborations between different um, organizations and also we depend heavily upon the media to be able to get this message out because as local agencies you know our outreach is very limited but as a media outlet when you print a newspaper article when you run a, a news um, 
clipping on the television, it reaches so many people, and especially at the local level. And it's the media that um, the elders are going to trust, because they trust their local newspaper. They trust that the articles written are truthful, and that the organizations that they're recommending are going to be organizations that they can depend on. So we truly appreciate the media and their effort in covering these events. Um, NAPCA is a national organization that um, has worked tirelessly on behalf of Medicare Part D outreach efforts. Uh, we've partnered with several uh, Korean organizations here this year, and we had several outreach events um, over the past year regarding the initial enrollment period for Medicare Part D. Um, we currently uh, still have in use an 800 helpline that has um, provided over 40,000 individual counseling sessions with different API populations across the country. Um, these counseling sessions were all one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, they either turned in an application to us to help them with understanding how to enroll for Medicare, or they called us just on the 800 line wanting to know what is Medicare Part D, how do I enroll, how do I know if my drugs are covered. So these individual counseling plans were all um, very important phone calls, very important um, meetings that we had with individuals. Um, without this effort, I'd say that you know the API community community would have been hard pressed to actually have enrollment because we know the enrollment was only done through the computer. So it truly was a very difficult task. Um, in addition to our 800 line, which is um, in English, Chinese, Korean, and Vietnamese, we also um, collaborated with other partners across the country to be able to do education outreach. And so we're happy that we were able to meet in various different areas of the country and then again point people to the 800 helpline because where we were not able to go, we were at least able to send forms to other agencies so that they could um, reach their population and in turn forward those forms to us. So um, thank you for supporting our efforts through um, your attendance here today. Uh, we did bring some handouts that uh, we're getting ready to do a mailing to about 10,000 um, people in our database. We're also sending it out to our other collaborators. But it's just telling individuals that even though um, the enrollment period is coming up and you think that you're already in a plan and that your coverage you think is fine, we're just asking everybody to do a quick checkup of their plan. So we're asking them if they have any questions to continue to use the 800 line and that their phone call will be returned and um, we'll be able to help them to see if uh, their drugs will continue to be covered. Thank you. Um, and now um, we have our special guest, um, Chezai Sunsingim. She will be representing the uh, community health promoters who are, have all come here to support this cause. Um, thank you. <laughs>
가만히 침묵하면은 그 걸리가 서로 어기도 힘들고 또 거리가 멀어지기 때문에 그 문제에 대해서 집중적으로 좀 음, 그게 시정이 되었으면 싶은 바람입니다. 어, 물론 저 어, 그중에서는 영어를 잘 하시는 분은 아주 꼭 흑수 쓰지만 우리 연대에 있는 분들은 영어권하고 상당히 거리가 먼 세대에 살았기 때문에 영어가 뭐잘안 되는 게뭐 당연하다고 생각합니다. 그 문제에 대해서 어 많이 배려를 해 주셨으면 싶어서 어 그래서 이렇게 나와서 부탁드리는 바입니다. 어 저희도 처음에는 이로 관련 문제가 많이 있지만 은 어, 여러 가지 어려운 문제도 해결해 주시고, 어느 문제에 대해서 가장 긍정적으로 어, 지정을 해 주셨으면 싶어서, 뭐, 이 노기자들의 몸으로 이렇게 나와서 어, 호소하는 바입니다. 감사합니다. Um, all our speakers will be available for questions and answering, and also for private uh, interviews after the press conference. Are there any questions? Um, thank you again for coming out today. I hope that through these efforts, we will be able to um, help Korean Americans uh, understand and uh, know what their benefits are, especially when it affects their health. Thank you. <laughs> there are impacts that cause a change in the subsidy or their Part D provider, and they are not aware of it because the messages all came in English. When they go to the drugstore on January 1, 2007, they may not be able to get their meds and they may not be able to afford their meds. And so we're trying to get the word out that these, there are changes coming now. Those notices should be in their household no later than November, first week of November. <laughs> Okay, 
on behalf of the dual eligibles who had so many problems with the Part D program and we felt like the program had let them down. It didn't address specifically language capacity, but I actually sent uh, an email up to the attorney who was in that lawsuit and told her I was going to the day specifically because of a lack of language capacity throughout the year. Because they are private plans that are created in California, we have no way to sue them. <laughs> They're not incorporated here. <laughs> you know, as I said, they make an, an awful lot of money. And, and the fact is that there, this program doesn't work with many people. There are a lot of you know, parts of Part D. But the parts that we work with are the poor and the elderly and those who don't speak English as their first language. And the program let them down, which is why we're all out on the streets working so hard. There is no duty to communicate with someone who you, you administer drugs to. Uh, any questions? Does the, 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 govern, the government workers uh, notice that this, uh, our Korean people have this problem? They concerned about this? They would not voice that concern in, in dialogues with me or any other person who works on behalf of Part D in the community. They certainly wouldn't admit it. They acknowledge that they don't have these documents in threshold languages, but they also do not acknowledge that they have a duty or any, any plan to change that process. Uh, so again, it's when you call into 1-800-MEDICARE, they supposedly can get you to like an AT&T language line, but that is, you know, supposes that you can actually get through to 1-800-MEDICARE, and if people know, they're generally those lines stay pretty busy. And then that person has to be able to communicate enough to say, I need a translator. So we saw lots of language problems when I, you know, call and I say, I, I need someone who speaks, say, Kamai, and they'll go, what is that? So that I can't even get over the threshold, so there's not been any real training on language and understanding language issues at 1-800 Medicare. Social Security has the same posture. They do not. They do make their applications available in, I think, 14 languages, but not the actual application. The application's in English or Spanish, and then they have the translations, directions in, I think, 14 languages, but you have to, you know, like any government form, it's hard to fill out if you can read it, and then if you have to translate the interpretation over to the English, it makes it pretty, pretty complicated. So as I said, we see in the plans themselves, they are But what happens is, is when you do the plan finder, there should be several plans that come exactly, up. Yeah. And so then you just try to explain to them what the differences are. We just give it three different ones. Right. Yeah, that's how Because, I mean, I have all the Korean clients, I have no time to do this. So if I have to do that, yeah. you know, can I refer those clients to you guys? Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay. Of course. All right. Utilize, you know, if you, right. you want to, um, I would say, yeah. this form for any of your clients, uh -huh. and then basically what it is, it's asking for all the relative information that we need to get on the computer to okay. CMS, Wonderful. and then okay. if they list their drugs or if they yeah. attach a mm -hmm. sheet from their pharmacy. Okay. So it can fax you, right? Yeah. They'll be a little oh, yeah. easier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I can, do you have a card? Because yeah, well, I can send you one. Okay. Or um, yeah, I'll give you mine. Uh, sure. Email me, uh -huh. and then what I can do is I can send you the electronic file, oh, so yeah. anytime you need to print them, feel free to print them. Yeah. And then what you can do is if you want to send over a batch 
attached to me, we'll be happy to forward them on to our Seattle office so that they can be case managed. Also, you can reverse all the medical care. Yes, any issues. Right, right. Great. Yeah, so send me an email and I'll send you the electronic file. Yeah, they made it in like a threefold process. It's supposed to be easy. But the notices are in English. And if you have to do something, if you have to take an action, or you, can lose it, you may not be able to understand it. That's the biggest change. So people will go in on January 1 and they no longer are subsidized. So the medication say that was $5 last year. <laughs> different benefits potentially, different formularies, different goals, and how do they learn about this? They learn about them in long letters in English, and they can't read them. And even you can read them. I spent like six hours yesterday outlining the changes and the steps and who does what, when, and where. I just sat there for hours just trying to read it so that I could explain it to people. And, I, and I've been doing this for a year, and I found it complicated to understand. So those are the two biggest ones. We don't know of any other major changes yet, um, but those are the two that have been announced. <laughs> but you know, so don't you think, you know, like the next year, so the whole, you know, messed up situation that from the last year happening? Well, hopefully uh, how do you we don't think it's going to be as I don't think it will be as bad as last year. Um, they did a turnkey operation. They said on December 31st at midnight, the Medi-Cal system was shut down for you folks, and we're going to turn on the Part D system. It was just there was no safety net. That's what created the, the, the emergency plans that the governor put in place, which are still in place. So on January 1, all the phone lines backed up, all the pharmacy lines backed up, everything failed as we suspected. You know, now we've had a year, so we don't think we're going to see that kind of chaos. Um, now what we tell people is what we are seeing is far more difficult, far more complicated, far more sophisticated troubles than we had last year. So I don't have as many problems, but when I get a problem, it is really horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> we we work our way into very sophisticated problems now. It's extremely complicated. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Unless you do it every day, it's impossible to understand. What people you know, don't understand too is this is brand new. We're all creating a history every day. This is a, a new day to day. And the regulations were not were suggested guidelines. The government did not tell the plans what to do. They suggested what they should do. That makes a big difference in the law. But I tell you, here's what I'd like you to do. Here's what you will do. It's a big difference. So we have a lot of guidance, and then we're all trying to interpret what does this really mean. Um, so yes, it was uh, a thousand pages of regulations. <laughs> あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ